the final input that we're going to share with you is the Newbie device. The Newbie stands for Neurobioelectric Stimulator. It is a patented direct current stimulation device and it allows us to create very powerful inputs into the nervous system so that we can, can create significant changes usually within one treatment. And one of the things that makes it, makes it different and allows us to tap into this input side has to do with the differences between alternating current and direct current. So most devices out there, Russian Stim, TENS, Interferential, the, the Compex, PowerDot, Mark Pro, and you know, all these devices that you, you may have, have heard of or have experience with, virtually all of them are alternating current and that's because it's a lot cheaper and easier to engineer and there's no problem with stinging or burning of the skin where there had been benefits of direct current known for decades but there was always a problem until now a problem with getting direct current into the body without stinging and burning the skin and so you know the, the soviets would actually back in the 70s would use direct current with their athletes and they leave they would leave physical burn marks of course we couldn't do that over here so most devices are alternating current and they, they can have some benefit, you know, at a low level they get some activation, uh, some increasing blood flow, you know, some benefit. However, when you turn them up to a high enough level to really make a difference in the realm of neuromuscular re-education, you end up running into a, to a problem because that signal as it volleys back and forth, alternating current, as it volleys back and forth it causes co-contraction where the muscles on both sides of a joint are gonna fight against each other. And so one of the things that we did in the process of developing the newbie is actually do this comparison, where we would take an alternating current device, a Russian stim device, turn it to say 50 milliamps of current, so it's, so it's a, a constant level of current. And on this arm, that would make, make me or whoever's doing it just totally lock up. I'd be frozen, wouldn't be able to move through it at all. And on the same arm, say, on the other arm, I could use the same level of current, that same 50 milliamps of current from the newbie, and even though it feels just as intense and just as much energy is being delivered, I'm still able to move through it. So that tells us that of that, um, that finite amount, that, that same amount of current being delivered, more of it in the alternating current is going to outputs, to co-contraction, whereas on the direct current, on the newbie, more of that, that amount of energy being delivered preferentially is going into inputs, sensory afferent input signaling within the nervous system. And so it allows us to tap into this feedback loop in very powerful ways that you just can't do with traditional electrical stimulation devices. Uh, I mentioned historically direct current has, has had known benefits but also issues with, with stinging and burning. So there are a couple other direct current devices in the world that you may have experienced they do have those same issues where you can't turn them up past a certain point because of that stinging and burning. So one of the benefits from, of the, the newbie specifically is that we've been able to engineer that waveform using very specific carrier frequencies and, and giving certain characteristics to that waveform so that we can get that direct current into the body, get high levels, therapeutic levels of direct current into the body with virtually no stinging or burning, no, no discomfort. It's a very pleasant user experience and uh, you know, something that, that people have actually told us they enjoy the feeling. And so, so we've been able to engineer that to really take advantage of, to harness the benefits of direct current and be able to work it into this framework here, where as you'll see, when we go through the, the actual treatment process, we're gonna use the newbie to identify exactly where in the nervous system any threats are present, and then we can actually reprogram, re-educate, re-pattern the nervous system to down-regulate that perception of threat and make oftentimes significant changes in output very quickly. And just to give you an idea, you know, we have examples all the time where uh, a college football player that we worked with in the athletic training room, for example, uh, had a grade two separation of his AC joint and, and could not move for a full week since the injury, could not move his arm past this point. We did our process, scanned around, found where that perception of threat was, his shoulder could actually move, but he was limiting that movement. He was, he was holding that protective tension around there, guarding, bracing because of the trauma. We were able to find exactly where his nervous system was creating that output, that protective contraction, by scanning around, doing this process that we're gonna show you next. We found those spots, and in just three minutes of treating those areas, he was literally able to go from here to here. 
So we, we see these profound breakthroughs like that using newbie. Sometimes it's range of motion, sometimes it's an increase in strength, sometimes it's a reduction in pain. Whatever it is, it's usually able to help accelerate the recovery process for patients who are recovering from a wide range of injuries, surgeries, different types of pain, and it's made a profound difference in our practice. We're so excited to share it with you next.